there is a new sheriff in town. The chip market just got more interesting. It's game on for Qualcomm. You'll just have to come to Paradise to find out why. Every year we introduce our premium tier part for the mobile market, but this year we were actually announcing our PC uh, solution as well. The Orion CPU is the new leader on mobile computing, period. Here in Hawaii, Qualcomm unveiled new chips that bring AI processing powers directly onto the device. If you are going to be a Gen AI leader, you can't ignore the device. Bringing it heavy duty uh, to the PC is absolutely new. This is the world's fastest stable diffusion running ever. Bringing overall generative AI to the PC and the smartphone is literally cutting edge. Chips make up a $3 trillion market. You'll find them in phones, PCs, cars, wearables. Oh, I see you. Qualcomm plays in all of those areas, but it's best known for supplying chips to Android phones. The company is now on a mission to change that. We launched Snapdragon X Elite, a game-changing, revolutionary PC platform in a heavily competitive environment. The opportunity for uh, Qualcomm to take some of this market share is something that companies like AMD and Intel have to be thinking about. I'm Diana Blass, and it's time to get connected to on-device intelligence, the new battleground for chips. You might have a new question the next time you buy a phone or a PC. What is, it, what is the AI function on this? What can it do for me? It's no secret that generative AI has exploded in the last 18 months, and for tech companies, it's driving an unprecedented pace of innovation. Innovation that Qualcomm says could be the answer to the smartphone and PC sales stagnation that's come to define the market. As the human interface to the machine changes, and you can speak to it, and it'll reply, and it'll do, do do things for you that you otherwise would have spent a lot of time doing. That becomes the enticing thing for people to say, okay, now I, I want this on my device. AI on device isn't exactly new to mobile devices. Features like voice dictation and facial recognition already leverage the technology. Today, with uh, some sort of foundational model, whether it be uh, a large language model or something for video or something for uh, photos and images, it takes a long time for it to generate the image. Now, part of that is based upon the processing that it does, but also, you know, typically it might take seven hops to go from the device up to the cloud and it gets processed and it, it, and it, and it comes back. When you have on-device AI, the inference of the AI is actually being done on device. You don't have to go up to the cloud to get the answer and, and come back. And I would say second of all is privacy. What a lot of people aren't uh, thinking through completely, right, because we're early, is the most cutting edge generative AI applications on the device are gonna take in real time uh, a snapshot of everything you're doing on all of your devices, okay? And it could be personal texts, it could be video calls, it could be all of your emails, it's all of your images. It's pretty much everything and I don't think uh, even uh, consumers in Western worlds who've been opened up to sharing everything on social media are going to want to share this information and ship it to the cloud. But just because we say on device, it doesn't necessarily mean that all the AI models will be processed there. Instead, Qualcomm believes the technology is moving hybrid. The device and the cloud are working as one, and it's changing not only the user experience, but even like a bold statement is changing the role of apps. Especially when we think about phones and in and, and our computers, we think about an app-centric environment, but now the AI can really bridge the cloud and the apps in a way that is completely transparent to you because it's just your copilot, your system. And, and that's one of the main things we talk about this show. Qualcomm's investment in on-device intelligence represents a broad market trend. Samsung and Google have discussed plans for Gen AI on smartphones. And in PCs, the race to innovate is quickly heating up. Intel and AMD power many of the chips in computers today. But could that change with the Snapdragon X Elite? We saw some tremendous 
benchmarking, bench marketing. And... Bench marketing? Yeah, like exactly. That. It's faster than any leading ARM compatible competitor in a single threaded CPU performance. The numbers were so big. I feel innately that this platform is going to be competitive. Take a photo. Another thing that stood out to me was the overall CEO environment and the support they showed for Qualcomm and Snapdragon. When you have Mark Zuckerberg and Satya Nadella, um, among others, coming on stage and basically saying, look, we are investing, we are partnering, and we see this as a future. What I see is TAM expansion. And what's that market expansion look like? That is so cool. Here inside the demo room, you can see a variety of devices that have Qualcomm chips inside. From Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses, from which you can make calls, play music. The speakers are custom built, where it goes over your ear. Here you have Meta's Quest 3 Mixed Reality headset. Oh, there you are. Oh, I see you. Yeah, this really allows us to integrate the real world into the different games that you're playing. Are there any other things I need to see? Uh, it just depends if you want to play the game. Um, not really. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I totally would. No worries. I, tight schedule. You've got you got know? things to do. <laughs> And you can imagine how all these demos can get an extra boost with generative AI as they become more customized to our preferences and desires. Now, the challenge in all this? Snapdragon in the US doesn't necessarily have the weight that it does in other parts of the world. If you went to China, research has shown that more than four out of five consumers are familiar with Snapdragon. So the company is really looking at how does it become a consumer brand on a global scale. Not so easy since you can't exactly see the chip inside the device. So CMO Dom McGuire got creative. Can you see it now? Yeah, I think more and more the battleground is being fought less and less on speeds and feeds and specs. And it's being, it's being fought on experiences. And when you talk about experiences, um, you need to have a brand associated with those experiences. And so we are fighting the battle or, or the war on every level. Um, we're fighting it at the product level and we're fighting it at the brand level. And I think those two, the combination of those two give us a differentiated competitive, sustainable competitive advantage. Now Qualcomm's strategy appears to be working. Qualcomm reported fiscal fourth quarter earnings recently that beat expectations for sales and earnings and gave a strong forecast for the current quarter. The company says the innovation unveiled at Snapdragon Summit will be available on devices starting 2024. So next time you see me, I might be asking, what is the AI power in your device? <laughs> Signing off for Connected, I'm Diana Blass.